Oh, what is up, Straight Talk Society? This is your host, Trevor, and I'm back again with another episode of Five Count, where I give you my top five takeaways from weekly pro wrestling. And just before you guys get all in my comment box and go crazy, which I do welcome, it is my opinion on the shows. Tonight, we will be talking about what I thought was a, a great, great, great episode of AEW Dynamite. If you don't know my history with Dynamite, I never used to like it, but over the year I came around and I really appreciate it for what it is. So let's get into the show. My top five takeaways from tonight's episode of AEW Dynamite. Number five. Number five, I mean, Osprey doesn't miss. Will Ospreay has already gotten a 10-star rating for me with his match versus um, Takeshita, who we will be talking about later on tonight. This guy does not miss. Tonight, Will Ospreay took on Katsuyori Shibata. Now, I listen to Dave Meltzer, so I've heard this name Shibata before. I've never had the privilege of seeing his work. Um, he's a very generic-looking guy, but I don't mean that in a bad way. He reminds me of a very uh, much younger version of Tatsumi Fujinami. For old wrestling fans, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. This match was phenomenal. Um, so what I loved about this match, well, Osprey matches that I've seen is normally just a bunch of um, no cells, no cells, no cells. This match, they worked. I mean, Shibata hit Osprey with everything. Osprey came back and just nothing would work on Shibata. Shibata seemingly had his number. They told the story about they how they wrestled. I think it was seven years ago. They worked a fantastic style of match where Osprey just couldn't hit move, 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 move. He really had to work for it. And if you ever listen to me on Wrestling Re Reality, I love a match that just tells a story please tell a story in your match and don't just go move for move and i give this match five stars this match was tremendous if this was on a pay-per-view this would be probably another eight star match but i mean they had that picture in picture which i really don't like but besides that phenomenal match make sure you go back and watch it number four takeaway from the night Ah, man. So we had the quarterfinals of the AEW Tag Team Championship tournament between the Young Bucks, another team that I have brutalized and crucified over the years. But I have really come around to them in this particular run with Matthew and Nicholas Jackson. They took on Private Party. And you see the headline, Too Spotty. This was just a spot fest. Everybody was just waiting around to do their next spot. This match told zero story. The best thing of this match, I want to say it was Nick Jackson hit one of the private party guys with a falcon arrow off of the barricade outside onto the floor. Tremendous spot. I wouldn't have took it, but tremendous nevertheless. Um, the Young Bucks did end up winning, and they are now heading into the semifinals to take on private party and just a honorable mention the private party versus the uh undisputed kingdom i guess that's what they're calling themselves that was a much better match in this tournament that match told a great story they got their spots in they got their shit in but they were still able to tell a story this match here told zero story come on man you guys got to do better let's go into the next takeaway from the night our number three takeaway for the night is oh mercedes monet she debuted we weren't able to talk about her too much on wrestling with reality because we were on vacation we still are on vacation um mercedes monet is a look 
She's a superstar, and she has that major thing going for her. She is a former WWE superstar, so they're going to treat her like she's the best thing in the world. Me being an honest, critical wrestling fan, she's not it. Um, so she did commentary tonight, terrible on commentary. They asked her, I think X, I think it was Excalibur or Taz asked her a question about who she wanted to face. And she said that she would she wanted to face Sky Blue because she was just laying there on the mat and she'd be easy to beat. So much for your big superstar that's coming in to save your division. And talking about saving the division, I mean, where's Britt Baker? Uh, where's Soraya? I, I mean, this, I, I don't know. Um, Tony Khan, I know you got a stack stoop superstars who you perceive as superstars. Um, Mercedes Monet is sloppy in the ring. We'll see what she does. Um, I, I just don't think, I think when her contract is up, we're just going to be like, eh, whatever. It's going to be like a wet fart in church. Fantastic look. Fantastic, fantastic look. Beautiful woman. She's just not it. Um, no promo ability, nothing. She's just not it. Oh, my number two takeaway from AEW Dynamite tonight Speaking of promo ability, oh, I got a scene from a South Park episode. If you guys remember this, this was a South Park wrestling episode where um, the boys were really into wrestling and they were into the promo aspect of wrestling. So there had there was a real wrestler who was all pissed off that they weren't really too into the grappling, all they cared about promo. So what I have here is who's talking them into the building. AEW is phenomenal when it comes to wrestling. Their wrestling matches are second to none, but their promo ability is non-existent. It reminds me of a story that uh, Paul Heyman told. Paul Heyman just cut this great promo, and Dusty Rhodes, who was the booker at WCW at the time, looked at him and said, that was great, baby, but where's the money? So I asked the AEW roster, where's the money? Which one of you guys are talking me into the building to make me want to watch what you're doing? Wrestling is great, but wrestling is only 50% of it. you got to be able to talk your consumer, which is me, into the building. I do a wrestling show, so I'm going to watch no matter what. But you have people that need to be talked into the building. And outside of MJF and Samoa Joe, there's no one on the AEW roster that I'm clamoring to see when it comes to promos. So you guys got to do better. You got to get better on the promos. Whatever it is, they aren't comfortable enough. I mean, you look at what The Rock is doing. You look at what Cody Rose is doing. You look at what CM Punk and Drew McIntyre are doing. Those guys make me want to come into the building without ever throwing a punch. Let's get to my number one takeaway from tonight's show and the number one takeaway from tonight's aew dynamite oh my god the main event Takeshita, another guy that i was sour on but now he is in my top five right now versus the next aew heavyweight champion i'm saying it now swerve strickland and they put on a wrestling master class when you hear me give that type of praise you go watch it the only thing that brought this match down was the picture in picture i just i'd rather not see the picture in picture especially that they put the match on the small screen i'd rather not see the picture in picture just go straight to commercial and come back this match was phenomenal though swerve strickland um again i'm used to seeing to catch the matches where he just goes in and just goes crazy and his move for move for move no sell no sell no sell just crazy uh-uh swerve said uh-uh we're gonna slow that down and i'm gonna make you wrestle tonight i mean tremendous 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 match listen if, if you only watch two things from this show you watch the first match and you watch the last match because aew one thing they do is they know how to put on wrestling matches. And tonight was no different. They open the show and close the show with two five-star caliber matches. I'm just going to have to just go ahead and give a, a new grading scale for their matches. If these matches were on pay-per-view, I mean, it, it, it's, it's just crazy. Will Ospreay already, we're 
three months into the year, going four months into the year. He's all ready to run away wrestler of the year. I don't think anybody will touch him. The guy is awesome. Um, watch AEW. It was tremendous. Hey, the things that I did criticize, you can get better on it. You can always grow on it. Get, get promo coaches in. Get people in that can help these guys cut promos that would make people want to come into the building. I'm going to watch regardless just because I'm a wrestling fan and I do these shows. Hey, but that's my <clears throat> but that's my five takeaways. Like it or love it. I'll be back again in a couple of days for SmackDown. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Peace.